It's a huge honor for me to get this award. Uh, I have a very special place in my heart for the MBA. They were the first group to ever give me a, a grant to study ALS. I've met so many other MBA awardees and, and uh, people who have mentored me and really taught me how to, how to be a, a, a great and compassionate physician. We have a really active program to try to find a cure for ALS. Uh, uh, lots of clinical trials and, and um, things to offer patients as well as studies to try to understand the disease. Right now, we're, we're probably the center that has the most, most um, clinical trials for patients and, and that really offers hope and a way to develop treatments for people. But while we're doing the trials, uh, we also think it's really important to try to learn from every patient that we see to try to advance the field and, and do uh, studies, what we call biomarker studies, where we're, we're trying to study the disease in people with it so that we can get better treatments. There is an enormous amount of hope for people living with ALS today and their families. The research is, is uh, exciting and hopeful. I don't think we've ever known as much as we know now about ALS and what could cause it and what, what, how to approach it. So I think we can say honestly today that, that we, we really might be very close to meaningful treatments for people who have ALS. The MDA has supported clinical care in Massachusetts for patients for as long as I've been in the field, if not uh, much longer, and we couldn't do it without them. I mean, they, they um, provide uh, funding for our nurses, our speech therapists, our respiratory therapists, so that we can provide a total care for our patients and their families, and we couldn't do it without them. The MDA has also been behind almost every major discovery in, in ALS by supporting the research. And they support it, they support in, uh, in many ways. The, the young fellows who are just getting into the field, they're attracting them as far as people with ALS. They're funding the seasons people um, who have great ideas. Um, and, and really, that I, I'm not surprised that it's that much money here because it, there's a lot of amazing scientists in the state of Massachusetts. So I'm glad that they're studying ALS. I honestly think that this is a time of, of hope because there's so many people studying ALS now. I mean, there, there's so many scientists all over the world studying this. There's companies studying it. Um, there's more understanding of what's going wrong in the motor neuron and the cells around it. That, that gives us targets for treatments. There's over 20 trials going on right now. We're, we're going to have another drug or two or three uh, in the near future to help people living with ALS today. I'd also want to say that the care of people with ALS and families has improved dramatically over the last couple of years. So that people with ALS are living longer with better quality of life, um, more things that they can do, and uh, we really can't underestimate um, the impact that that uh, research and how to care for people is really, really as important as trying to understand uh, the cause and develop treatments. The other thing I want to say is that ALS is really leading the forefront of therapeutics in all of neurology. And we have in, in people with ALS stem cell trials. We have gene therapy trials. Uh, we're doing things that are at the forefront of, of therapeutics for brain disorders. And so ALS is not only helping people with ALS, it's also helping people with other uh, neurological illnesses. And we couldn't do that without you know, the, the brave patients and their families who participate in the research studies. It's really a team effort. So I'm sorry I couldn't be there uh, with everyone to celebrate today uh, with the MDA, uh, the hope for ALS. I'm really honored to get this award. I want to thank you very much for choosing me.